Hey guys, Trevor here, and today we have an update on the 5.1.1 jailbreak, which is now untethered. Hey guys, what's up? Trevor here from DNTR Tech TV, and I'm back making videos for you guys because now I have an iPod to do them on. So, Today, as most of you know, the jailbreak that is untethered for 5.1.1 was released today. Uh, Pod2G got that out. Part of the Chronic Deck team is a big help towards them and everything. Um, so basically, what I'm going to be doing is the uh, Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 jailbreak update on your iPod where you can download it, just like the Corona untether we did um, for 5.0.1, I believe. But um, anyways... Drew's going to be doing the Absinthe 2.0 on his computer, so if you could, there'll be an annotation on the screen. I'm not good at pointing, so I won't be doing that, but um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, you want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi on your device, and you want to open up your Cydia, and if you can't see too well, it's probably because of my screen protector. It's got, uh, you know, a mirror on it, so you're going to let that load up. You're going to let your sources and packages download, which I've already done, but, you know. And, okay, so you might have upgrades, you might not. Uh, I'm not sure, mobile substrate, that usually goes along with uh, jailbreaks and stuff, updates. Um. So, you want to make sure you upgrade. It's always good to upgrade when it comes to stuff like this. You want to continue uh, queuing. And you want to scroll down until you see Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 Untethered. So, basically, this allows your 5.1.1 device to reboot without requiring an external tool, such as Red Snow, which is booting via Tethered. Uh, I'll just read this to you guys. Rocky Raccoon is the underlying untethered exploit that will be installed by popular jailbreak tools such as Red Snow and Absinthe. If you are using 5.1.1 and you can reboot your device and and have it still be jailbroken, you have Rocky Raccoon. If your device relies on Rocky Raccoon for untethering, which includes any iPad 2, iPad 3, or iPhone 4S running 5.1.1, installing this package will unjailbreak your device. So, this does not make it tethered again, this will unjailbreak it, and you might have problems with the actual iPod. So make sure if you want to get rid of it, you restore. Uh, Rocky Raccoon is spelled with one C after the similarity misspelled tool from IPsec tools. This is not a mistake. So, anyway, you want to go ahead and you want to hit install. And this does untether, like I said. So, you want to continue that. And your device will most likely reboot. It should. Why did I say most likely? And I am running tethered 5.1.1 at the moment. If you have not seen my unboxing video for this iDevice, you might want to go and check that out. Annotation on the screen. Alright, so you're going to reboot your device, and if it says that, do not be worried. It's going to reboot it. Might take a little while, since you just installed the untether, so it might take a little while longer. Okay, guys, and it has booted back up and it is working just fine there might be a few bugs um, I'm not sure since it you know was just released but uh, judging you know everything works fine yes Twitter um so just to make sure what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off Okay, I'm going to turn it back on. See if it works. Anytime an update plugin comes in like that for an untethered jailbreak, always do that. Make sure. There we are, guys. So, that is your untethered jailbreak tweak add on. Um, so, make sure to go and check out Drew's video. Um, so, yeah, everything seems to be working perfectly fine as if it was tethered, you know, but it's not. So, anyways, guys, make sure to subscribe to me and Drew, like and favorite this video. I'm sorry if it was poor quality, but I do not have a proper camera to record on just yet. 
I am in the hole a little bit here. So, uh, I'm a little tight on money. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure to favorite and like and comment if you have any questions, problems, um, private messages, Twitter, Facebook, or even Google+. We are on that. But until next time, guys, this is Trevor. Peace.